Did you see uh, Herb's play at the end live? Did you, did you have to catch it on a replay? A couple guys have just said that they didn't even see what happened. What? Yo, I'm looking at Devontae, waiting for him to make his cut. And all of a sudden, I hear the crowd, and Herb got the ball, and he got fouled. I walked straight to our bench, said, looked at Fred, yo, what happened? <laughs> so he threw it off his back. I said, OK, we good. We're, we're, we're fine. We're going to be all right. When he went to the free throw, I said, we're going to be all right. I know you, uh, you know, pride yourself on, on seeing the floor, tied your career high in assists. Um, you know, just, just what did you see out there tonight and the bodies they were throwing at you? I mean, I always try to play basketball the right way. And mathematically speaking, if there's three people on me, two people got to be open. And I, really, I trust our shooters. We have great shooters on our team. And I was just finding them, and they were hitting shots. What did you, uh, what did you think of Hurts? First off, I like that hat. That's how you feel? <laughs> I'm just, I'm you got a date after this? I'm just glad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to head back home to do absolutely nothing. My, my fault. I'm sorry to uh, interrupt. It's nice to see you again after Memphis or San Antonio. Um, what did you think of Herb's defense just overall? I mean, just I mean, obviously you've seen it time and time again. What did you think of his defense tonight? Um, I mean, what makes uh, that charge at the end so special is it came in at halftime and Coach said, I mean, when he's driving, He's coming directly at you, and everybody's swiping down. Just take the charge. So for him in that moment, in like transition, to have the IQ to take that charge, I mean, I say it all the time, Herb is a special defender. So for him to make that play at that time of the game and then make another play on the offensive end and knock the two free throws down, I mean, that's big time. I got nothing but love and respect for her. For you, this was game 100. Um, where do you think you've grown the most from game one to to now uh, on the court? Um, I would say I've grown the most mature, maturity-wise and just seeing the game. I feel like when I came my rookie year, I was using more of talent to kind of get me by. But as the more and more I've been playing, the game slowed down. So I'm able to see passes. Uh, I pick and choose when I get want to get to my spots or uh, when to attack. And so I would say my game has grown maturity-wise and then IQ-wise. Yeah, staying on the topic of 100 games, just for you, does it feel like it's kind of flown by? Does it feel like, you know, it's been four years, I guess, just because, you know, it's been over four years you played 100 games. Just, just describe what that journey has been like, kind of, you know, not doing it in a linear fashion the way a lot of guys do. You know, I almost hit you with the, you tell me, man. <laughs> but I, I ain't even gonna do you like that today. Uh, it's been a long journey. Um, would I have liked the journey to have gone like that? Absolutely not. I wish I could have played every game. But at the end of the day, I'm still grateful that I went through that. Because it helped me realize a lot mentally, spiritually, and just, uh, growing as a man. So for me to, f to finally hit 100 games, uh, I didn't even think about it, but uh, like, that is a big milestone because this journey has been, I think this is, I'm on three coaches. Uh, this is the first year where the locker room has looked somewhat the same players wise. Um, so I think I can take away from that is it's just good to kind of have just steady people around me now. Yeah, and throughout those 100 games and throughout this season, defense has been a big topic for you. Career had three blocks tonight, closing the game at center. Just just how do you feel about your performance on that end tonight and, and doing it in a different way when Willie's playing you at the five? So you want me to say it. <laughs> he, want, he, he, he wants me to say it, man. How would you evaluate my defense tonight? <laughs> I'm going to give you a B plus. Tonight. A B plus? I can accept that. I can accept that. Uh, but personally, um, I feel like I played uh, OK on defense. I'm sure there's some things that I can probably could have done better. But I think watching film, I'll find that out. Hey, Zon, what does it say about this, this, the depth of this roster that 
you close out a game with Jose as the oldest starter and I mean the oldest guy on the court. Really? When you close the game out. Man. Um so I've been saying this since the beginning of the season and I've been saying it last year as well. We have a special team. We have a lot of great players on this team. Um then you know at the beginning of the training camp, coach said, I'm not gonna put you guys through a physical conditioning test. Our conditioning test is the season. So if some guys miss some games, next man up, always stay ready. Uh, like when opportunity meets preparation, that's what he tells us. So when those guys number get called, like he, like Coach says, he's not calling you out. He's calling you up, and he stands by that. Zion, uh, 100 games in, one technical foul, without trying to walk you into the lack of whistles and get you in trouble that way. <clears throat> What was the message from your teammates to like calm you down and keep you back in focus to so you could pull out this win? You know what's crazy? I, for you to think about it, that's the logical way to think about it. And I respect that. <laughs> what was being said on the bench was, wow, they really checked you up for that. And man, I, I wasn't expecting it. I think I was like shocked, like, oh, I really got a tech. That might be my first one. Uh but I'm never going to sit here and tell a referee how to do their job. Um, looking at it from the rules perspective, what I did was uh, technical because I did walk towards him and I did yell. So respectfully, it was a tech, but in the moment, it was more like, damn, <laughs> I really got a tech. <laughs> you, you talked about kind of the next man up mentality. Uh, Specifically, what did you think of uh, what Billy did tonight? He, he almost had a double-double in like 16 minutes. And Billy be doing that on purpose. Billy sometimes misses shots just to get the rebound. You know, it does that thing where, you know, I didn't learn this till last year where if, if somebody misses a shot and you like bat the ball out and somebody else gets the rebound, that's still your rebound. So, you know, it really knows all the little loopholes to get rebounds. and. <laughs> He takes advantage of it. That's what I got to say about that. Uh, and, and also, again, specifically, what did you think of uh, just Dyson to be able to, you know, 19-year-old rookie to be able to step in and, again, be huge in this game? Um, Dyson's game and confidence has grown a lot. And <clears throat> I think everybody's seen it, like, unfold right in front of our eyes. I mean, whenever he's called up, um, he do what he got to do. Um, ain't much to really say on it. He just... He's just been handling his business. Yeah, uh, this one isn't related to this game specifically, but uh, there's a there's a play y'all run, particularly when Larry's on the court. He um, kind of gets the ball off the center and pass, and then you come curling off the corner, uh, pitches it back, and you go down the middle of the lane. Um, it seems to me you've kind of scored at will with that. Like, what is that something that y'all have been practicing a lot in practice? And what do you see when you're when you're running through that action? Trying to give a scouting report over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I just like I said, I try to play the game the right way. So when when I'm coming out the corner, curling around, my first look is to read Larry's man because I know my man is either trying to shoot the gap or he's trailing behind. So I kind of read Larry's defender, and if his defender's trying to cover the left, then I'm thinking, okay, let me try to get back right and find the pass. But if my man tries to shoot the gap, then I kind of slow it, slow down and kind of get into my bag and just make the read from there. Zion, tonight um, you shot one three and also shot one free throw. Is there any way you can, without getting fined, any way you can you know, try to get more calls even though you shoot a lot of shots inside the paint? Also, Shea Gillis Alexander shot 18 free throws. He shot 18 free throws? Oh, he did. Made 16 of them. OKC played tremendous defense without fouling. They played tremendous defense. One free throw all game. Nah, they played tremendous defense. I respect it. There you go, Matt. <laughs>